who should be the real king of the jungle? The king of the jungle, you've heard it before, and it's synonymous with the lion. Everyone around the world knows that the lion is the king of the jungle. But the real question is, is everyone in the world being fed a lie? Should the lion even be considered the king of the jungle, or should it be someone else? Kings rule their lands for varying amounts of time. All reigns must come to an end. So, should the lion's time be coming to an end? Should it have never even begun in the first place? The Lion Don't get us wrong, the lion is one ferocious beast. We'd never question the lion's ability to be the king of nearly any domain he steps foot into. If we look at the fully grown male lion, he typically ranges between 6 and 8 feet long and weighs between 350 and 500 pounds. There are plenty of these vicious killing machines that get even bigger. They're nearly pure muscle, built to ambush and take down prey twice their size in an instant. They have agility and fast twitch muscles that enable them to pounce and take down their prey, oftentimes before it even realizes what's happening. And when the prey does figure it out and tries to outrun the lion, the lion can hit 50 miles per hour. So good luck, gazelle and zebra. So why, after we've explained all that, do we dare say the lion is not the king of the jungle? He's clearly a king, and that is true. However, he does not live in the jungle. You can't be king of the jungle if you don't live in the jungle. King of the jungle is quite the misnomer when it comes to the lion. You see, lions live in a variety of habitats, but those include grasslands, plains, and savannas for the most part. It is quite rare to even find a lion in a jungle. Yes, Africa has jungles, and yes, lions are a plenty in Africa, but you're more likely to find them in the African savanna and ruling that area. So the lion is out as king of the jungle. He should have never been in. We can call him king of Africa, but the title of king of the jungle still needs to be filled. So who are our candidates? The Leopard Our first candidate will be the Leopard. The Leopard is another big cat found in Africa, but unlike the Lion, he actually is a jungle cat at times. You see, Leopards are one of the most versatile, if not the most versatile big cats in the world. They not only live across much of Africa and Asia, they can also be found in many different types of habitats. The leopard is the only big cat that can be found in both a desert and a rainforest, which are extreme opposites. They can also be found in many different habitats between those two, like grasslands and savannas. And yes, there are plenty of leopards in the jungles. Leopards are highly successful predators in their various habitats. In fact, leopards have the best success rates hunting in jungles. For instance, Leopards in northeast Namibia have been seen to have success rates of 38%. Leopards are big cats, but they are smaller than most big cats, ranging between 3 and 5 and 1 half feet long, and usually weighing between 80 and 160 pounds. Their bite force of roughly 300 pounds per square inch is no picnic to experience, but it's much less than that of many other big cats. Leopards are actually the most arboreal of any big cat, able to climb into trees with great ease. On the ground, they can hit speeds of 36 miles per hour. So, the leopard is a possibility for the new king of the jungle, but they have a lot of competition, even right in the African jungles that they frequent. The Gorilla Another big name of the African jungles is the gorilla. They are found in all types of places, rainforests, dense primary forests, moist woodlands and swamps, to name a few places. But we all know that with gorillas being such skilled climbers, they love the trees. That is why they are so frequently found in the jungles and why they are an excellent candidate for king of the jungle. There are four subspecies of gorilla, the Cross River Gorilla, the Western Lowland Gorilla, the Eastern Lowland Gorilla, and the Mountain Gorilla, and they're all huge. They are the biggest primates you'll find on the planet. The biggest of them all is the Eastern Lowland Gorilla, found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, 
and known to send shivers down your spine if his eyes meet yours. Don't look them in the eyes. That upsets them. And you do not want to upset the ape that can reach 6 feet and 5 inches and weigh 460 pounds. And that isn't all show weight. That weight is a danger. You likely wouldn't want to upset a professional MMA fighter or a UFC fighter. They're probably only two times or three times as strong as you. Now, a gorilla is ten times as strong as the average human, with a punch so lethal one blow could shatter a human skull. You don't want to spar with that guy. And he isn't just all power. He's an agile primate with speed you wouldn't expect. A gorilla can move along the jungle floor at up to 25 miles per hour. And though the gorilla is not a predator, he still possesses a predator-like bite, with powerful jaws that can exert up to 1,300 pounds per square inch of force. Now, it is interesting that our candidate for king of the jungle, the gorilla, is not a predator. He doesn't choose to be, but if a predator comes around, he is more than willing to defend his territory and do battle. In fact, gorillas do have to worry about leopards at times, but leopards have to worry about gorillas equally. Leopards may decide to hunt a gorilla or attack it if they are feeling aggressive, but gorillas are highly defensive of their territory and will put their jaws and their fists to good use. You see, gorillas and leopards have engaged in battles before, and they can go one way or the other. The gorilla has many advantages – size, strength, and even bite strength. So both gorillas and leopards battle over dominance of those African jungles. The Cayman Let's leave Africa and head to the jungles of the Americas, and let's throw a reptile into the mix. The Cayman The Cayman is a massive reptile found in Central and South America, and they can be found all throughout the Amazonian rainforest. The Black Cayman is 16 to 20 feet long when fully grown, and can weigh up to 1,000 pounds. They move decently on land but far better in the water. In the water, they can hit up to 30 miles per hour. That's scary, no matter what boat you're aboard. They have extremely strong jaws. Once they've picked out their prey, they snap that wide mouth closed in a hurry, exerting just under 1,000 pounds per square inch of force. Black caimans have a large variety of foods in their diet – fish, other reptiles, birds, and mammals. They will sometimes even find smaller caimans, like the spectacled caiman, and prey on them. There are even reports of black caimans cannibalizing and eating smaller black caimans. In other words, the black caiman is ruthless, a quality that's quite important to being a king of any land. Now, black caimans do frequent jungles, but they aren't strictly in jungles, as they can be found in marshes and many other wetlands. And they are highly successful predators, but they aren't necessarily the apex predator everywhere they go. Especially when you talk about black caimans in the jungle, they may be the largest predator there. But are they the most fierce predator there? The Jaguar Another predator of the jungles in South America, and quite possibly the original jungle cat, is the jaguar. Jaguars are native to Central and South America and littered throughout the Amazonian rainforest. And though jaguars are extremely difficult to keep track of, it is believed that upwards of 80% of the world's jaguars live in the Amazonian rainforest. So much of the Amazon is unexplored, which is why it is hard to keep track of all the jaguars. But what is known is that they are fierce predators in the Amazon, and they are giving the black caimans a run for their money. Jaguars can reach six feet in length, and sometimes even exceed that length. They can also weigh as much as 350 pounds. The jaguar is an extremely powerful and agile cat. It has to be, moving amongst the trees and having to take down massive prey. The jaguar is another big cat that is muscular and hunts in ambush style, sneaking up on its prey, often large tapirs, capybaras, or deer, and pouncing. And when they give chase, they are excellent sprinters, able to hit speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. It has one of the strongest bites in the animal kingdom, 1,500 pounds per square inch. 
If a jaguar decides it wants a turtle for lunch, no problem. Those jaws and teeth can crack right through a shell. Jaguars are extremely successful hunters, estimated to have above 30% success rates with their hunts. And they don't discriminate when it comes to making dinner reservations. They'll dine anywhere, one of the most versatile eaters in the world. No wonder they are such successful hunters. Everything is a meal. And yes, the Black Cayman has the Jaguar outweighed and absolutely puts up a fight. But that's a fight a Jaguar can win as well. With more agility, more speed, fantastic strength, and a stronger bite. Maybe that's why Black Caymans aren't strictly found in jungles, and Jaguars almost exclusively are. You too would avoid the jungle if you saw a Jaguar amongst the trees. The Tiger We would be doing our list of candidates a disservice if we didn't include the Tiger. Yes, the Tiger is an excellent candidate for King of the Jungle. However, we have to go all the way to Asia to find these big cats. The biggest cats on the planet, in fact. Tigers are usually between 8 and 10 feet long and can weigh up to 700 pounds. They are another muscular and speedy ambush predator taking down huge prey for their meals, sometimes even crocodiles and baby elephants. A tiger can hit speeds between 30 and 40 miles per hour, and they can leap 18 to 20 feet. Essentially, if a tiger has set its sights on you, you're done for. They are quite versatile cats, living as far south as the equator and as far north as 50 degrees north of the equator in places like Korea and eastern Russia. They live in all sorts of habitats, jungles included, but not jungles exclusively. Tigers are excellent hunters. However, compared to other big cats, their success rates are lower on average. If you take all tiger subspecies, their success rate is about 10%. That doesn't sound too great, but that's why they will eat up to 75 pounds in one meal. They know it may be a while before the next meal. However, Bengal tigers are more successful than the entire tiger species overall and they are more frequently found in jungles. So if we are looking to the Bengal tiger, he is quite a formidable opponent when it comes to contending for king of the jungle. So who should be the king of the jungle? The lion doesn't even live in the jungle, so not him. Leopards and gorillas live in jungles in Africa, but they're often battling with one another for supremacy. Neither one really has a distinct edge over the other. The leopard is the smallest big cat on our list, and the gorilla isn't even a predator. The caiman is a decent candidate, but he isn't strictly in jungles. And even when he enters the Amazon, he has the jaguar to worry about. The jaguar, the animal of all our candidates who is most prevalent in jungles, is an apex predator. He is fast, strong, large, and has a devastating bite the strongest bite on our list. And then there is the tiger, the biggest cat in the world. If you put a tiger and a jaguar in the same place, the tiger has the advantage. However, tigers aren't strictly in jungles, so does that weaken their candidacy for king of the jungle? If we look strictly at the species, the jaguar has the strongest bid for king of the jungle. He is an amazing apex predator. And of all these animals we mentioned, he is the one who is most concentrated in jungles. It's hard to pick the tiger over the jaguar, since there are tigers ranging from swamps in Thailand to colder regions in Russia. However, if we fixate specifically on the Bengal tiger and his great success rate hunting, his massive size, and his overwhelming power, we may have to pick him. It appears our new king of the jungle is either the jaguar or the Bengal tiger. If we're getting specific, What's certain is it's no longer the lion.